Yeah. You expect your partner to know, especially when it comes to sex. Right. It's like, well, if you love me, you should know. Right. Mm -mm. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you love me, you should be able to read my mind. You should read my mind. Yeah. Jada Pinkett Smith gets candid about her sex life with Will Smith after more than two decades of marriage. It is not your responsibility to make your wife happy, right? Just like it's not my wife's responsibility to make me happy. It's my responsibility to make me happy, and it's her responsibility to make her happy, and then we're gonna come together and build on that happiness. The 50-year-old actress opens up on the latest episode of Facebook Watch's Red Table Talk, telling her mom, Adrian Banfeld Norris, and guest Gwyneth Paltrow about the difficulties of maintaining a good sex life after all those years. Really, at the end of the day, it's just not quitting. You know? Of course, Will and Jada tied the knot in 1997 and will celebrate their 24th anniversary this coming New Year's Eve. They share two kids, 20-year-old Willow and 23-year-old Jaden. Will is also dad to 28-year-old Trey from a previous relationship. It it's really, hard. I know. I'm, I'm I sure. I mean, the thing that Will and I talk about a lot is the journey. I mean, we started in this at a very young age, mm -hmm. you know, 22 years old. I think yeah. you expect your partner to know, especially when it comes to sex. Right. It's like, well, if you love me, you should know. Right. Mm -mm. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you love me, you should be able to read my mind. You should read my mind. Yeah. You no, know what I that's mean? That's a huge pitfall. That's a huge pitfall. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Jada says she's grown out of that mindset, but it can still be uncomfortable for her to express what she wants. Yeah. Tell me right. what you need, tell me what you want, and on top of it, I know that I have to be accountable to do the same. And yeah. do you? I really try. Yeah, yeah. It's uncomfortable, yeah, yeah, but it's deeply healthy. Of course, this all echoes what Will told ET back in 2007. Anything that I need to make myself happy, I will present that to my wife that I need that to be happy. Divorce is not an option. We're going to be together. So we're going to figure out how to be happy. In fact, he doubled down on all that again in 2015, telling E.T. that when it comes to their marriage, they put in the work. You can't expect it to be easy. It's like I'm, our marriage was the most difficult, grueling, and excruciating thing that we've ever taken on in our lives. And, you know, we're just not quitters. And by the same token, we're not apathetic. Yeah. So we're not going to sit there and let it, you know, be painful. We're going to keep working. And if there is a, is a secret, I would say, is that we, we, we never went into uh, working on our relationship. We only ever worked on ourselves individually and then presented ourselves to one another better than we were previously. And just in case there was any confusion, on Wednesday, Jada clarified her comments about her sex life with Will, tweeting in part, quote, Will and I have never had an issue in the bedroom. Thank you. But back to Red Table Talk. While discussing the topic of sex with their kids, Jada and Gwyneth had very different experiences. Willow started asking Jada about sex at the age of five, and Jada says she made sure to preach respect and consideration when the topic came up with Jaden. As for Gwyneth's kids, 15-year-old Moses and 17-year-old Apple, whom she shares with her ex, Chris Martin, she said the topic first came up when they were in sixth grade and had sex ed at school. In sixth yeah. grade, had the craziest sex ed really talk. it was incredible full right. on everything like they learned everything <laughs> i will never forget apple's face <laughs> when she came home and she told them everything and when i say everything i mean everything as for moses gwen says he's not really interested in discussing it with his mom he's like at a phase where you know, we're extremely close and he's also like differentiating yeah. and he doesn't want me to show a bra strap, like yeah. let alone have me ask him a question, question. about a girl. <laughs> E.T. caught up with the Oscar winner earlier this month and she said that when it comes to sex, she tells her kids to trust their gut. I think the main thing and you know, that nobody ever tells you is like, you have to stay really close to your own truth and you have to stay really in integrity with that truth because you know, when you're in a relationship and you're not being your full self, 
um, you're sublimating things or you're like white knuckling through something, it's actually, I, I think it's, it can be pretty damaging on um, how you feel about yourself. I think my generation, we got a lot of messages around sex that made us feel bad about it. I try to just be curious and, you know, I mean, teenagers are never gonna wanna talk to their parents about <laughs> sex, ever. So I sort of follow their lead and luckily in middle school, they had a very thorough sex education. So the, the school handled, you know, the kind of birds and the bees parts. And then I'm there for any questions or, but the questions are pretty minimal.